Welcome back to Switch Corner. It's time for our weekly look at the best deals across the US, the UK, the EU, and the AU eShops. Now, as always, this week we're going to be giving away two $10 eShop gift cards, so just drop a comment below to enter for your chance to win. Then, as we go today, I'll also be announcing the winners of last week's giveaway who got the choice of the gift card, a digital copy of Celeste or a digital copy of Thronebreaker, and there is two winners coming up. With that though, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here, join our growing family, and let's get started. So as always, check the lower left corner of the screen to see pricing and if it's available in your region. This week though, I gotta say it's a great one because we have a lot of games we don't see too frequently dropping in price. First off, to kick us off though, Ash of God's Redemption. This one, it's no doubt a game that owes more than a little bit to the Banner Saga series, whether it's, you know, the turn-based RPG elements through to the honestly stunning but kind of copycat visuals, let's face it. Telling, though, a really great story of three heroes facing off against the mystical energy, though, I really enjoyed it. It's got, like, this auto-combat in here, too, for those of you that simply want to enjoy the story. And, yeah, I really like this one. I have an in-depth review over on the channel, which I'm going to link at the end of this one, 33% off though, it's only the second time it's been on sale and it's also the lowest it's ever been. I strongly recommend taking a look. So next up then, one of only two games this week that is exclusive to the US sale, but that's Double Dragon and Kunio Kun Retro Brawler Bundle. Another one I've actually reviewed over on the channel if you wanna check it out. While I enjoyed the game though, the price in my opinion, it was just way too high. Here though, now coming in with 50% off, I can absolutely give this a recommendation. This one though, it's bringing to the table 18 titles. Three of these are Double Dragon, then 15 are Kunio Kun. You Seven of these though they've never even touched North American shores before, it's actually more commonly known here as River City Ransom and then in the EU it's known as Street Gangs. Amazing games though, I do question the whole 18 game statement because some of these are definitely like doubles with slight variations from their like east to west builds, but it's still good stuff. Gameplay wise we're getting 9 brawlers, 7 of which are side scrolling, one has RPG elements and one it's a tournament style fighter. Then the other half of the package, that's nine sports games. It's a great price for a great series and a solid, solid amount of content. So next up then, sports fans, Football Manager 2020 Touch. I'm going to cover this one quick before any, you know, non-sports fans fall to sleep immediately. It's a football management sim game. So think choosing your lineup, managing the team throughout matches, uh, meeting expectations set by your board, looking at scouting, looking at transfers. You're going to know if you like this one immediately, but at this price, 50% off. Honestly, a steal. I grew up on games like this, if anyone remembers, like, uh, Championship Manager. But you can sink hundreds of hours into something like this with the depth it provides. Alright, so this is a little bit different. Headliner Novi News, and this is a really interesting concept. Basically, you are the producer of the news, and your decisions will very much shape society's, you know, beliefs and viewpoints because you're basically choosing what information gets to them. So that's kind of like how they get a picture of what's happening around them. The example here from the eShop's a really good one, though. Will you endorse nationalized healthcare even though you have friends who are, you know, worried about longer wait times? What about demonizing a new synthetic alcohol that's definitely dangerous but they're also a major investor in the show itself. This then it shows within the games it impacts those around you and it's actually mainly three friends you interact with. There's a co-worker who's also an immigrant, you've got your brother and then there's a single father friend as well. It's a really unique concept that is at times just kind of eye-opening while presenting you some really like seriously challenging scenarios. What a lot of the gameplay does come down to, you know, picking basically between yes and no answers in your office, there's the occasional free roaming moments that just make this world feel very much alive and makes you feel more involved than simply, you know, like text box after text box. Really, really like this one. I actually imported it personally back before it released here, but 40% off is a steal. Also, if you like a game like Papers, Please, this one I have no doubt it's for you. So our first winner of the week then, Douglas Delecky, who commented on the Blood and Guts bundle, which had a great sale price last week, and it's actually still going now with 85% off. This one, it combines Slay and Slay Away Camp and Super Blood Hockey, and it's absolutely worth the investment. Congrats, though, man. Drop me an email. Let me know if you want, you know, the gift card, Celeste, Frame Breaker, and then the second winner coming up in just a few more games. So another one we actually reviewed over on the channel now, Billion Road. This one, it's for you digital board game fans out there. The idea here, simple enough, kind of like a Monopoly ripoff. Travel across Japan 
earn as much money as possible by collecting things like perks and buying businesses. Where this one gets interesting though, it's the introduction of monsters that will give you perks and of course sometimes have negative effects too. Occasionally you'll even have to like work together with other players on the board to fight them before they destroy some of Japan in like true like Godzilla fashion. It's for sure a weird one, I can't explain it in a paragraph, but head over to the channel to check out an in-depth look at it if you like your board games and maybe you fancy something with a bit of a twist on it. Absolutely worth it though right now with 40% off. Most of all as well with this one I gotta say I just love the whole style and visual look. It's got that presentation absolutely on a point. Alright, so my pickup of the week, as always, haven't played it before, but maybe some of you will want to come along for the ride with me. This, though, it's actually slightly different this week. It was a community recommendation coming from Michael Whitney. Different meaning, I could actually find the comment this time. So, yeah, basically, that means blame him if it sucks. <laughs> Don't blame me. But no, seriously, he sold me immediately with this one. He, he put it as the closest thing to Final Fantasy Tactics on the Switch. Gotta say, the visuals are stunning from what I've seen. I have it downloading, like, right now, and refuse they seem to agree with him. They float around that eight to nine mark. So I think Michael has led me to something good here, or it's one of those cases where everyone knows about this one already and somehow I've just kind of missed it. But yeah, thanks Michael. So next up, 2D beat em up fans, Bud Spencer and Terence Hill slaps and beans. I don't think they were big over in the US, honestly, but this duo, they're famous Italian comedians known for a particular like slapstick sense of humor and a whole lot of Westerns. It's all very old school stuff, but I will say they are absolute legends at the same time. Somehow though, in 2019, they ended up in their own side-scrolling beat-em-up, something I never saw coming. It even got a limited print run from Strictly Limited Games. Now though, the eShop variation, it's getting a solid discount of 60% off. This one, I gotta say, it's a whole lot better than I ever expected. And while I'm not sure what the demand was for a Bud Spencer and Terence Hill video game, honestly, I know this much. It's a really entertaining and fun side-scrolling beat-em-up that pays a homage to their careers while being more than accessible enough for those of you that know nothing about them. Just basically, beat-em-up fans, absolutely check this one out. It goes all over the place and it's really, really good. All right, so a quick one I wanna mention now, but alternate Jake Hunter, Daedalus The Awakening of Jazz. I spoke about this back in April last and we've had about 5,000 new subscribers and thanks to you all. So I wanted to give this one another quick shout out because it's absolutely worth it. I grabbed this one first on release and I feel like it doesn't get enough attention in the sense I pretty much never hear anyone talk about it. This one, it's part of the Jake Hunter series though from the DS days. They're games I'm now hunting down because this was actually my first experience with the character. This one though, you're playing a young detective out to investigate the murder of your grandfather. Yes, it is for sure a visual novel, but it's putting in a lot of effort to be different from like tons of interaction to investigative moments to a rotating camera so you can look around scenes. And how about those visuals? They're super unique. The whole package feels like it's bringing something different to the table. And because of that, I put this one up there with Phoenix Wright and the incredible AI, the Somnium fails with its quality. 60% off though, don't even think about it if you like any of the games I just mentioned. So Dungeon Crawling fans now, Mary Scouter 2, this one, it's a first person approach to the genre and it's, I gotta say, held in relatively high regards. I'll be honest, not beat this one completely myself, but what I have played seems to have all the mechanics in place that will keep you locked in. Expect some solid visuals with a particularly like anime twist. The story, it's the idea of like living dungeons and confronting the nightmares within. It's suitably crazy, of course, but with 60% off, it's a great price for a huge game that could easily, I'd say, go over 100 hours in playtime. And then they even throw in the first game, Mary Skelter Nightmares, for free, another like 50 hour experience. This is a cheap price for a whole lot of gameplay. Just as a warning, don't come here if you don't like dungeon crawlers. This game might literally be your worst nightmare if that is the case. So our second winner then, Robert S, who's been looking into Falfaris and the mighty Velocity 2X. It does look like the Falfaris sale is still on though for those of you out there that are interested. Sadly, Velocity is over, so I would suggest grabbing that one next time. Congrats to Robert, drop me an email and we'll get you that code or your choice hooked up immediately. So this week it is actually 11 games because I just couldn't choose between these last two. First, Super Neptunia RPG. It's a spin-off of the long-running Neptunia series. The best way to sum this one up though, it's 2D platforming exploration with turn-based RPG combat elements. And I will say it's not the deepest of systems, but I really enjoyed this one. 
The art style overall is just absolutely stunning. The world is awesome to explore. There's this nice cast of characters. And I think the best way to look at this one, it's just kind of like a chilled RPG experience when you're feeling like something that's a little, you know, like less taxing on the brain. With 50% off though, I think it's worth a look, especially if the visuals appeal to you, because I think they do a good job of summing up the whole vibe of the experience we get here. So last up then for the week, Fallen Legion Rise to Glory, a series I first experienced on the PS Vita. And while this is similar to Neptunia in the sense it's an RPG, it's 2D, this one for sure leans a whole lot more into an action vibe with a heavy focus on combat. The story, there's branching pathways, it can be a little tough to follow at times as well I will say, but it's got this addictive gameplay loop. It basically you choose a location you want to head to and you get to work, the movement's all automatic, you'll only take control once you are in battle by choosing the corresponding buttons above your squad's heads. It's simple, but it's surprisingly challenging as you manage your combos, your attacks, your defense. If Neptunia, I'd say, was, you know, relaxing, this is absolutely like the complete opposite. Alongside all of this then as well, you can expect the usual, you know, spells, stat boosts, specials, and so on. I really liked it, but I would also say, check out a quick review before you dive into it 63% off, just to make sure it's for you. And that's the end of the week down. I wanna say a quick thank you to our first patrons. We only launched it just yesterday and already four of you have been kind enough to sign up and help support the channel. And that really is just honestly appreciated. So thank you so much. You can expect to see your names at the end of each and every every video then as always to everyone thank you so much for being here thanks for driving just this simply amazing community forward and if you are new here this is your first video or maybe you know you've seen a few of mine now if you haven't subscribed yet consider it if you love the switch as much as we all do here join our growing family i'll see you all on the next video thanks everyone mm -hmm.